Ready to translate? When it comes to translating your book, you have a couple of options. You can translate your entire book, or you can translate an individual chapter. They are both very similar in their steps. We will start with translating individual chapters. If you choose to do individual chapters, we recommend doing them in order for best results. To begin, go to your book's metadata page by clicking on the pen icon next to the book title or click on your book under the My Books tab. Then in the chapter list on the left, find the chapter you wish to translate and select it by clicking on its name. We are going to start with chapter one. Once your chapter is loaded, you will find four icons in the top right corner. The second one is our translate icon. When you click on this, you will see the options to translate chapter or translate book. Right now we're going to choose translate chapter. First, we need to choose the version to translate. You can choose the original, or if you have proofread your book in Scribe Shadow, you can choose original dash proofread. Next, choose the target language, the language that you wish to translate your book into. In our case, it is German. Then, choose your AI model. We usually leave it at recommended. And since this is German, we will select the quotation style. This option will be grayed out depending on the language you are working with. Now, click Translate. If you notice, there is now a pop-up in the lower right-hand corner that will show your processing status. If it did not pop up automatically, you can click the blue box in the lower right-hand corner to expand it. Here you will see your tasks in progress along with an estimated time, as well as tabs for completed and failed tasks. It will automatically refresh after a certain time, but you can click refresh if you wish to see any changes sooner. Once completed, you will see that the task of translating chapter one has moved from in progress to completed. You can choose to remove the notifications or clear all notifications to clean up the space if you wish it will not affect any completed tasks. Now we can click back over to the chapter we just translated and go to the drop down box to change it from our original book to our translation. In our case, we're going to choose English to German. If you translate your book into more than one language, they will also show up here. Then we will click on the tab that says English to German and we will see our translated chapter. You will also notice the tab for English to German dash proofread. If you chose to further proofread the chapter after it is translated, it will appear here. That tutorial can be found on our support page. Now let's move on to translating the whole book. To begin, go back to your book's metadata page by clicking on the pin icon next to the book title or in a chapter. Under your uploaded cover, you will find a translate icon. It's the first icon here. On the pop-up, you first need to choose the version to translate. You can choose the original or, or if you've proofread your book, choose original dash proofread. Next, choose the target language, the language in which you wish to translate the book into. In our case, it's German. Then choose your AI model. We usually leave it at recommended. Again, since this is German, we will select the quotation style. This option may or may not be grayed out depending on the language you are working with. Now click translate. A dialog box will ask you to confirm your translation settings. Now you can sit back while your book is translated for you. It may take a while depending on the length of your book. To check on this, you notice that there is a pop-up box in the lower right hand corner that will show your status. If it did not pop up, you can click on the blue box in order to expand it. It can be found in the lower right hand corner as well. Here you will see your task in progress along with estimated time, as well as tabs for completed and failed tasks. It will automatically refresh after a certain time, but you can click refresh if you wish to see changes any sooner. Once completed, you will see that the tasks have moved from in progress to completed. You can choose to remove notifications or clear all notifications to clean up the space if you wish. It will not affect any completed tasks. 
Now we can click back over to any chapter and go to the drop down box here and change it from our original book to our translation. In our case, English to German. If you translate your book into more than one language, they will also show here. Then we'll click on the tab that says English to German and we will see our translated chapter. You will also notice a tab for English to German slash proofread. If you choose to further proofread the chapter after it is translated, it will appear here. That tutorial can be found on our support page. To export your translation, you can click one of two places. First, you could go to any chapter, and in the top right-hand corner, there is a download icon. There is also a download icon on the metadata page under your book cover. Once clicked, you will be prompted to select which version you want to export and the format in which you wish to use. Scribe Shadow can only export books uploaded as Word documents only as Word documents. Books uploaded as EPUBs can be exported as either EPUBs or Word documents. Please note that the EPUB to Word conversion may lose some of the formatting.